Oh, it became so golden. Oh, really no space. <laughs> Lots of chicken today. Just a little bit of green peas. Oh, green level again. Oh, nice. Mmm, juicy. Mmm, 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 mmm. Konnichiwa, tomodachi. Hi, tomodachi. So, today so we're gonna cook the nashi tomato. And this is the side dish that everyone said we need to eat with the tomato chicken. Oh, I see. So, this nasi tomato is the perfect dish to eat with ayam masak mera. Okay, so let's cook them. Alright, let's get started with our ingredients. Right, first step is to stir fry aromatics. Let's add a ghee, the cow milk fat. So you can make this from butter, or we bought one from Hokkaido. Garlic, shallot. So two cloves of garlic and eight or nine cloves of shallots. Lemon glass. Next is two cardamom cloves. Onion. And a little piece of cinnamon. It has a very rich butter smell, I think. Yes. Raisins and almonds. Kagome tomato paste. So just a couple tablespoons. We're going to rip up our pandan leaf a little bit and tie it in a knot. One more tomato paste. Chicken stock. A couple tablespoons of evaporated milk. We're going to add a little bit of rose water, so maybe just a small tablespoon. Rose water. Also, I have never seen. I had to look very hard to find this in Shinokubo. Season with a little bit of salt. Jasmine rice. One cup of jasmine rice. So no rice cooker today. Then turn the heat down to low. Thin out the mixture with just a little bit of water. And we're going to add a few sprigs of mint. Now we're going to cover and let cook for about 15 to 30 minutes until the rice is done. Marinated chicken. So let's get that seasoning on the chicken. We have lovely chicken here. Okay, so let's add our chicken. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna season it first. So let's add some salt, as well as a nice big teaspoon of turmeric powder. And give it a nice mix. Okay, so we're gonna let this sit while we prepare our other ingredients. So next step is to make spice mix. And we have everything prepared here, so let's get cooking. Let's go in with our shallots, garlic cloves, a few tablespoons of our fresh chili paste. Let's blend everything until it's smooth. All right, step three is to fry chicken. And uh, that's been sitting there and getting a nice yellow color. Okay, first step is oil. One cup. Okay, let's fry until golden and brown. Oh, it became so golden. So let's take out our golden pieces of chicken. We're gonna set these aside and let's get ready for our gravy. Step four is to make gravy sauce. And that's gonna be a little spicy maybe. Oh, sounds good. All right, so let's pour off most of this chicken frying oil. We're gonna save about this much to fry our chili paste. So let's stir fry this until it starts to smell really fragrant. Right, onion, ketchup, chicken. Oh, really no space. <laughs> Lots of chicken today. Just a little bit of green peas. Oh, green level again. We're gonna season with some salt, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of sugar. We're gonna cover it and let everything heat through. Wow. Looks so cute. What a beautiful red color. Hey, okay, let's plate it. So interesting that it uses tomato ketchup as the base of the flavor. Oh. For garnish, we have some crispy fried shallots, a bit more of our mint. So this is nasi tomato. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Mmm, juicy. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's a little bit, just a little bit, 
like a Chinese sweet and sour flavor. Oh, but it's really nice. This mm. minto is nice accent too. So some tomodachi mentioned that even with the spice paste, it might not be so spicy. And mm. this is certainly the case, I think. Actually, we need rice, I think, I guess. Mm, definitely, this would go so well with a nice hot bowl of rice. And this smell, I've never smelled something quite like this before. I think it's that rose water that adds this sort of floral, fruity note. So I'm very interested to try. Mm. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. Wow, interesting. It's such a complex flavor. Like you don't think tomato immediately. Mm. Oh. But as you chew, you sort of get that sweetness and acidity from the tomato. It's really nice. Mm. Interesting. This is uh, very not Japanese food, right? <laughs> no, totally different. South, I think. Southeast Asian flavor. Mmm. But mm. the almonds have gotten really soft, and that the raisins are bursting with that sweetness inside. Wow. Mmm. So thank you for the bowl. Yep. Yeah, always. And every recipe has been so delicious. So. This one is also so good. And if you want to see more, feel free to give our channel a like and subscribe. Sayonara. See you next time. So texture is also good. Ah uh, yes, and it's not too dry. Sometimes when you cook the breast meat, it gets very stringy.